Hi guys, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around an H&H, &H, 6.5 by 12 foot, 9,900 pound GVW low profile dump trailer. So everything you see on this unit is all standard equipment, shown in the traditional black color. Let's take a walk around the trailer, show you all the features on this one. So starting out up front, this is a 2 and 5 16th inch uh, stamp coupler. Notice it does have the fully sealed wire harness. It's also got the seven pin RV blade style plug. Of course, your DOT required breakaway cable. It's also got your traditional safety chains. Now you notice this does have a built-in safety chain holder, which is nice. So it's also got the 7,000 pound drop leg jack standard. If you're not familiar with the drop leg jacks, simply you got a top line handle, uh, which would wind the outer sleeve there. It's also got an inner sleeve with the holes You've got a lot of height adjustment on this, never any need uh, to have wood blocks or similar with that setup. Also notice capped at the end of the frame. So if you ever need to replace the jack on these, it is easily replaceable. Simply undo them. It's also got grease dirt on it uh, for a little bit, a little bit uh, better serviceability. It does have a locking toolbox handle got a gas shock on it which is nice some don't put the gas shock on these flop open and uh, get your toolbox lid busted off it does have a deck of deep cycle marine battery kti hydraulic pump power up power down not a whole lot of room other than for your traditional battery and hydraulics as you will find with a lot of your dump trailer toolboxes it does have an extra wire uh, off each plug a lot of times that's a 14 gauge wire this looks a little heavier i'm guessing probably a probably a 10 or a 12 gauge uh that is the auxiliary line that's going to charge off your truck at roughly a 3.7 amp hour rate uh this will probably be a little faster because it looks like a little heavier line but still this is a 140 amp hour battery it's a group 24 it's going to require about 20 uh, more than 20 about 30 some hours of charging to get that battery topped off not really ideal some folks think that this whole seven pin plug is a direct uh, two or six gauge line like you would have off a winch that is not correct there's seven different wires actually less than that because you don't have the backup lights but you've got basically six seven wires in that harness and that is the size of them so again this is a self-contained 12 volt hydraulic system uh, you're going to get all your your power off the uh, battery itself this is just a trickle charge coming off the truck side to help supplement. Might occasionally have to charge your battery. You can use a traditional battery tender to do so. Uh, depends on your duty cycle. You may get all the charge that you need just off that little accessory line. I would also want to make sure that your truck has a working accessory line. Most of them come standard. Some people blow the fuse and never know it. So it does have a power up, power down, two button remote. You'll notice that they take and put a gusset roughly at the midpoint of your tongue, which is ideal. That would be certainly your most critical area. It's also got a bullet LED light standard. So one thing we'll get to in a minute that I like, h, &H on this does what we call a nestled bed frame. So the bed frame actually sits down inside the main frame, saves you about four inches of height. So what that allows them to do this trailer has about four to six inch higher sidewall than many in the industry, but it still doesn't have any higher or much higher of an over the rail height than some. So this unit has a two foot side where a lot in the industry have uh, just a 18 or 20 inch side, but your floor height being uh, four inches lower on this because of the nestled bed frame still means your over the rail height's not that high. So this is a five inch a tongue and a five inch frame and you've got a four inch bed frame that again is nestled inside so this unit is set up for a bulkhead so you can drop a two by down in the top build the sides up if you want also has the double broke equipment style fenders so this isn't your single broke or your smooth plate fenders a little bit uh, a little bit heavier this unit is also powder coated, not painted. Uh, do a nice blast with it. Uh, pretty nice finished product. If you close up on it, it is a very, <clears throat> very clean finish. It's also got the black uh, wagon wheels, six on five and a half lug pattern. 
This has a radial tire. It's a 225 75R15. That's an eight ply tire, load range D. It's also got the green nitrogen filled uh, tire cap. It is a easy lube hub. You can tell from the black cap at the end of the axles. Average uh, homeowner with basic hand tools can do their own bearing maintenance. Also has the newer style Ford adjusting brakes. Some call it uh, FSA or never adjust. Basically throughout the life of the pad, it's gonna continually self adjust itself to the proper tolerance. Uh, it allows you to always have brakes, whereas years past, folks that didn't do service uh, uh, would be without brakes. A lot of times we took trade-ins, you just gotta adjust them and be back in business. These, they will wear throughout the life of the pad. Uh, this does have a little bit nicer hinge setup, a little bit heavier duty than some of what we carry. Uh, do a nice job with it. This also has the combo gate on it standard. So you can use this in a traditional barn door functionality, but then you can also spread with it as well. So if you want a barn door, you'd simply pull it open, take it around the side, or you can also set your depth gauge and then you can spread uh, your aggregate and whatnot with this unit. It's a fairly simple operation, even with one hand. Everything fits the way it should. It does have the cam bar lock. Now you notice underneath on these, this does have ramps with its standard. It says your traditional hook style ramp. It's gonna hook right on your bar. It does have D-rings in the bed, standard. Again, we did say it's got two foot sides on these. This trailer's gonna weigh in. This is, this is a uh, six and a half by 12. So again, that's one of the things we really like about this. This thing's about six foot four by 12 foot. Yeah, it allows you to haul some stuff that uh, a six wide won't, but also allows you to stay a little bit narrower than the seven by 12s, which uh, outside to outside, are 80, uh, eight and a half feet. And then you got a little bit of uh, tire bulge in there that actually would take it a hair over eight and a half foot. This size here is very handy. Somebody's got a light skid steer, uh, decent sized compact tractor. Not many in the industry build this size. That is one of the key things we really like about this particular unit. So as I was saying earlier, this empty weight, it's gonna weigh in right around 3000 pounds. It's gonna give you a net legal payload of about seven. You're also gonna pick up tongue weight it's gonna average at least a thousand pounds of the ball. Generally on bumper pools, you can figure empty uh, tongue weights about 10%. Loaded is generally gonna be close to 15. So if you look on the passenger side front, uh, spare tire mount is standard equipment. Uh, spare tire would be optional. Generally we do have those in stocks. Reflector tape's not required, but they do put some going down the sides for your safety. So again, this will give you a better view of that nestled bed frame. Again, get you that lower deck height. You also notice the uh, safety prop that is standard. Uh, under mount ramps, as we're saying, and then also you'll notice this has an oversized cylinder. So most in the industry on a 10K are gonna use a three by 30, uh, or occasionally on a 10K, I'm sorry, some will use a, a four by 30 as well. This one here is a 36 inch, so it has a lot of stroke. You'll notice it is mounted farther forward than most. Uh, does certainly give it plenty of leverage. Cross members on these are made from three inch channel. Spaced about, uh, it is not a set spacing, but I'd say these on this size ballpark, you're probably about 18 inches on center. You also notice the tubular crossbar right at the hoist uh, gives a lot of rigidity to that particular area as well. Then you've got your hook style ramp. Then there's a better look at your gusset reinforcement underneath your tongue area. And your cylinder gets reinforced and headered out. It's actually got two different pieces of tube for your reinforcement. So this unit's gonna achieve about a 45 degree angle. 
This is available in different sizes as well. We also stock this in a 10 foot length. Uh, pretty much same trailer, just different length. Cuts about 200 or so pounds off your empty weight. So again, folks, a couple of unique features would be the six and a half foot width, the two foot sides on these definitely make it nice. Has a little bit longer cylinder, allows it to get that extra leverage. Has the combo spreader gate that a lot of folks like, has the side extensions, and it is power up, power down, and powder coated. If you have any questions on this, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220, or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.